lovelies, welcome back to my channel. This morning we dropped Amora off to school for the very first time. So it was quite emotional. Ada took the day off work today because he obviously wanted to see more go into school for the first day. So we decided to do a little bit of autumnal shopping and probably I decided more than you, Ada, hey? That was my idea. <laughs> He's absolutely thrilled to be going autumn shopping today. And then we also have Navy and Bodie with us as well, who are currently asleep in the car. Weather later on is set to get to 28 degrees. If we're in the shops, you probably won't feel the heat as much, but it feels a bit weird doing autumn shopping on such a hot, warm day. Seeing as we are off to do our autumn shopping, I, of course, had to get something from the Starbucks autumn menu. It would be rude not to, and I am just your basic autumn girly can't wait to have a fun day let's try and find all of the autumn stuff i'm not gonna lie though i feel like because they've had the autumn stuff out really early this year i think they've had it out since july i have already bought a couple of bits at home which i'll share with you all in a big home decor autumn haul i'm not even sure what's going to be left in the shops i'm hoping that we still will be able to find some goods i'm not necessarily looking for crazy amount of pumpkins because i already have loads from last year i mean if i see some cute pumpkins I'm not gonna wanna say no, but I just want things as well to make our house really cozy. I wanna make our house like a real cozy place to be. I just want the house like smelling amazing, feeling autumnal. So yeah, let's go see what we can find. What happens to that big candle there? What big candle? The Jew. Oh yeah, but that's Christmas, babe. That's with the Christmas stuff. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> stop in the boot clay fabric with all the neutral pumpkins that is so cute i do like this hello pumpkin chopping board these little ceramic bowls are really cute as well i think i have something similar from last year but if you don't then these are lovely and you've got the really large orange ones 40 pounds which is probably more what our family needs seeing as it's a, quite a lot bigger than the white one they're not too much on the pumpkin vibe they also have these butternut squash 16 pounds that. Kitchen roll holder. How cute. Oh, that's what I need for my hair. Can I get that? Shower cap. <laughs> Wow, look at these tables. They would be really cute in like a playroom or a nursery. We've actually just done Navy and Bodie's bedroom in a woodland theme. And that would be super cute. £115 though, so definitely not cheap. Little toadstool doorstop, £16. Oh, you're putting her inside there? Oh, wow. These brown boot play cushions are absolutely gorgeous. Love those. They're only 15 pounds. I was expecting them to be a bit more expensive in here. They also have these lovely fluffy white ones. I'm so tempted by these, but again, I feel like I need to come back after I've looked through what I already have in my attic. But am I gonna regret not getting them? Love this cushion. That is 22 pounds. How gorgeous. Oh, Navy. Is that your baby? Wow, oh, who's that? <laughs> How cute. £21? Would I want to pay £21 though? Adie, look at the bath toys! Glow in the dark ghosts and little witch ducks, how cute! Got stickers for the toilet there. Go pick up your baby! Oh, good girl. Does Bodie want to go in there? They want a trolley each. Yeah. No excuse for you to fill two trolleys in, do you? Let's go see what we can find. <laughs> I spy lots of Halloween. Wow, look at this big one. Made in the Philippines as well. This big one down here is $29.99. I quite like this one, to be honest. That one's $29.99 though, Ed. How cute is this for the playroom? And this one, imagine putting your treats out on Halloween in that. These baskets are $16.99. The pumpkin face one as well. I love those. That is really cute. Quite different. But I love it. I feel like this would suit my sister's kitchen because she's got lots of blue and white ceramic pieces like this. How cute. what 
we came for. All of the autumn candles. This is how we're keeping these two entertained. They've got a bag of sweets each. Had to be one each as well because God forbid they try and share. What have you got on your sweets? Who is it? Rah. That dinosaur? What have you got on there? Wow, how cute are all of these little pots and potions if you're doing a Halloween tablescape. I think I'm going to have to get a few of these for Halloween because I just think they're adorable. Buy the cider, I'm sorry but how cool is that? £2.50. And you've got the big ones, big bottle of poison, £3.50. So we have just done it next. Home Sense and Hobbycraft. So Home Sense and Hobbycraft, I'd say were quite Halloween based. Managed to get my candles though, so I'm super happy about that. We're gonna go try Dunelm now, see what they've got in there. I'm not even sure if they have an autumn range, but we're gonna go have a little look. Ooh, big as your head, Bodie. That is lovely though. 10 pounds. A little acorn. The lid, 10 pounds. Or a leaf garland here, 12 pounds. Got some lights on it. That would be really cute over a mantelpiece. Oh, these two. <laughs> We're getting around today. It's easier than chasing them. We're working on our steering, aren't we? Like that. Eucalyptus garlands. Maybe. Eight pound fifty. That is beautiful. That's only ten pounds. Giant for ten pounds. I didn't end up getting much footage in Dunham because the babies started to get very antsy, which is fair enough. I did get all of this autumn floristry, so I'll probably share this in a haul when we get home. This is adorable. I love the white neutral pumpkins. That is £12. Hello. <laughs> Baby. Hi. Hello. <laughs> this pumpkin at neutral green reef. £26. That is so lovely. Press it and hold it down. There you go. Press it then. <laughs> oh, pillow. Is that a pillow? You're gonna to have to excuse this really strange angle, but the sun is beaming through the house. It's about 29 degrees. If I move my hand this way, you can see where the light is like completely shining through and it's hard not to blind myself. But I wanted to share with you all of the bits which I got today. We also ended up popping into Matalan, but they didn't have a huge range. I think I filmed a few little clips in there, but I have noticed that they have started to sell out of a lot of things. I'm glad I picked up a few bits at the start of summer. Those bits I will share with you in a big autumn decor haul but today I'm just going to share with you the bits which I specifically picked up today on this shopping trip just to round up this video. I'm going to start first with a few bits which I got in Hobbycraft. I would say Hobbycraft was more Halloween-y today. They did have a few autumnal bits but nothing that I was particularly drawn to and again they had lots of like art and craft pumpkins but I ended up just picking up a few Halloween bits actually. I like to decorate for Halloween probably like the week before Halloween you know when the half term starts so it was a bit of fun for the kids. I spotted these which I shared with you in the video and I had to get them because I thought they were such a good price point. Large bottle here which just says unfiltered poison on it. Little black one which just says witch's brew. This one which is also witch's brew but in the white color and then I also picked up spider cider which I thought was really cool. We tend to have a little bit of a Halloween party where we put out some like Halloween food and we do some Halloween kind of arts and crafts and I like to do a Halloween tablescape so I'll put some candles out, cobwebs, pumpkins, you know the drill and I thought that these would look really really cool on like a Halloween tablescape mixed and matched together with like cobwebs over them, colored water inside just to give it that kind of eerie fun effect. I can't wait to create some cool little Halloween 
bits and bobs with these and yeah great price point i think the small ones were like two pounds two pound fifty and the large one was like three pound to three pound fifty i'm honestly really worried about what i'm filming or whether you can even see what i'm showing you because the lighting is just completely throwing me off this evening but next i thought i'd move on to my bag of things i got in home sense i can already smell the goods which i got from home sense so you know that you pick some good candles when you can already smell them and candles was the main thing that i wanted to go into home sets for today and i managed to get a few which i really really liked so the first one that i did get was this one from the brand sand and fog which i bought quite a lot of their candles from before this is in cinnamon pumpkin i love the kind of neutral orangey color and what also drew me to it is these gorgeous pumpkins on the top of the lid it's like a nice wooden lid as well and then the pumpkins they almost look painted on and it just looks really really cute this smells absolutely heavenly. So I've noticed that I really do like going for the kind of sweeter candle smells. I love it at autumn time or any time really where it smells really sweet, homely, cozy, as if you've been baking. I spent so long smelling the candles in Home Sense. Honest to God, I was there for ages just picking each one. I did notice that quite a lot of some of the autumnal scents are a little bit musky and kind of like kind of smell that kind of hits the back of your throat, if you know what I mean and I'm not so much into those I'm definitely into my more sweeter candles and then that being said you don't get much sweeter than this candle here which is maple pancakes it says rich and sweet and comforting rich maple caramelized sugar and pancake batter combined with the essence of pumpkin and toasted nuts I mean if that doesn't make you just want to eat something, doesn't make your mouth water, then I don't know what will because it definitely does for me. So I've just had to move my camera again slightly because it's overheating because of the heat outside. The new angle feels really up close and personal. My moon face has kind of taken over the screen here. I could not walk past this jar of miniature pumpkins in Home Sense. So this is actually vanilla pumpkin Potpourri, 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 however you say it, I'm probably saying it wrong, I'm probably absolutely butchering it, so I do apologise, but how cute are those? It does say that they are scented, to be honest I'm not even too bothered about the scent of them, although it is an added bonus, but I just thought they would be so nice to display, and I also thought some of these miniature pumpkins would be so cute to go with the girls' doll's house and the girls' barbie house, just to give them a bit of an auto makeover, and they are such gorgeous autumnal colours as you can see. I mean if you have the willpower to walk past tiny miniature pumpkins then you are a stronger person than I am. Went past the candles and forgot to mention this little guy so I found him in the queue area they had like a little section of miniature candles. I did also see this candle in the big full size but I quite liked the idea of the small ones just for like in the kitchen or just somewhere where you want to put a little bit of scent but don't want like a huge candle going. I just thought that this candle would be perfect so this is honey pumpkin again sticking with the sweet kind of scents but you can definitely get the hint of pumpkin also in that candle so that was 3.99 i'm pretty sure that all the candles in that section were under four pounds another thing i really wanted to pick up in home sense was the syrups so i completely ran out of syrups from last year and i really wanted to stock up last year i actually got sets of three different flavors but i couldn't find those sets in there today they only had giant ones like this or just like other big ones so i did want to get a few different flavors but i ended up just picking the one because obviously it is gigantic i went for pumpkin caramel latte they also had the big one in pumpkin spice there were a few other flavors that caught my eyes churros i mean that sounds delicious so maybe i'll go back and get them at a later date but i thought just one big one for now i mean i think aid would kill me if i walked out with like 20 huge bottles of syrup he'd be like are you actually okay that was 7.99 for the big one and the other thing that i love about the skinny syrups is that they are zero calories and zero sugar and then i also picked up this little pot of beanies coffee because this is the maple fudge i thought i'd give it a go because that sounded quite autumnal again beanies coffee is low calorie sugar free and i normally just drink it black more kind of scenty bits i couldn't help but pick up these in next and now i'm looking at the price 12 pounds that is quite a lot this is for eight fragrance wax melts i feel like you can get wax melts a lot cheaper in other stores so would i want to pay 12 pound again i'm not sure but honestly the packaging just looks so cute the whole stand just really
really got me. I'm a marketer's dream because I just fall right into the trap. But they are in some gorgeous little shapes and I can't wait to burn them and see what they smell like. Then in next, I also got the Woven Natural Pumpkin. So this was 20 pounds, which again is quite pricey, but I will get this out year after year. I showed in the video the big pumpkins from HomeSense, but I decided to stay with this one in the end because I thought that this was more of a nice size for where I want to display it in the house. I mean, I'm not quite sure where that is yet, but I just thought this size would be a lot better than some of the big ones. I already have my huge basket pumpkin that I got from next last year, which I'll get out again. I just really, really liked it. How beautiful is that? Then I also got this kind of pumpkin shaped mango wood look bowl. How gorgeous is this? Again, this is pricey. I can't remember the exact price, but I will pop it down in the description box down below. But how lovely is that? I can't wait to display this somewhere in the house. I mean, if you're looking to know where I'm going to put everything, then do follow and subscribe to my channel because I'm sure I'm going to do an autumn decorate with me really soon once I get my house up together because I need to give it a good clean after the summer holidays. But that's a whole other story. And then again in Dunelm, they didn't have a crazy amount of stuff. But what I did really, really love in Dunelm was their kind of flower stem floral section. I really want to add some nice autumnal flowers and kind of floral displays in the home this year because I think that would just add some nice harvest colour into the house. Sorry, I just had to move you again because my camera is having a hot flush pretty much as much as his owner is right now. So I keep having to move him out of the sun. First things I've got in there were these Pussy Willow stems. So they just come on their own and they are £2 each. I ended up going for five. If you saw my autumn decorate with me last year, you'll know that I got some Pussy Willow kind of dupey things on Amazon and they were not good. They were really not that good, but I have kept them all year. But now I'm ready to change them out with these because these just look so much more realistic they're really long in length so you can cut them down to whatever length you need but I do think that that kind of height makes it seem that bit more expensive if you get these from like the white company as well they're so much more expensive so yeah definitely a good little find and then like I said I really want to make some nice kind of autumnal boo okay so even putting all of these bits together you can kind of see the look these first few are my favorite i mean this one and this color is absolutely stunning so this is gypsophilia this is sprayed brown and this is in a more orangey color so these are five pound each so they were quite expensive per stem but i do think that they look really really nice and i'm planning on perhaps spray painting these i did see a girl do a wonderful autumnal display on her console table in a beautiful vase she had spray painted them to a more neutral color to kind of suit her kind of home style which is like my home style you know sad beige mum they do look beautiful this color on their own so maybe I will just leave them alone but yeah I might have a play around and see I mean I'm not as artsy fartsy creative as she is but I thought I would give it a go because it did look stunning so on that note I also picked up a couple of these branches they were four pound and they are huckleberry again in this gorgeous orangey color but if we just muted it down a little bit I think that we can make something really really pretty I mean mixing and matching these all together I think is going to look super cute in a vase then I also got this one which is the eucalyptus autumn bundle this was six pound it's just different eucalyptus leaves you got the more kind of purpley dark ones and then the orangey brownie ones you can either bunch them together in a vase like this or you could have the stems separately so i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do with that yet but we're going to have a play around and see and then lastly i picked up this vine bush in this kind of brown color if i move back a little bit you can kind of see that it's almost like a hanging plant. They displayed it hanging in the store. But what I imagined this was kind of draped over a shelf or a mantelpiece. That's kind of like a garland. And I thought also what would be so nice to do with this is if you had two of them and placed them at both ends of a table, you could create a really lovely autumn tablescape, put a couple of pumpkins in there, maybe a few of these other branches and stems and make a really, really nice garland for like a center of a table or on the mantelpiece. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. So I just can't wait to have a little play around and I did think if I don't end up using it draped on a mantelpiece or hanging anywhere then I could even cut up some of these bits because I really really liked the colour and the stems of these so I could even cut them up and put them up into like little jars around the house in with the other kind of foliage who knows but I just I liked it so I thought there was quite a few different things I'd be able to do with this one and then the last thing I picked up was another Halloween purchase from Home Bargains we quickly 
quickly nipped into home bargains and I got these hanging bats. Then they were £1.29. I have already picked up quite a few Halloween bits from B&M and home bargains. So I'll probably do them in a separate haul at some point. I've got my autumn decor haul. I'll do a Halloween haul. And yeah, just let me know what kind of things you'd like to see. If you'd like to see more of that, then please do subscribe because I love doing things like this and showing you bits and bobs, which I've got. And yeah, I just hope that you have enjoyed having this little autumn day with me. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I shall see you all hopefully in a video again soon. Bye.